Hey everyone, I'm Renee. And I'm Susan. And this is People, Pets, and, and Purpose. purpose. Uh, you. This is episode nine already? I know. It's crazy. Oh my Time god. Time is flying by. Next year we're going to have a big budget with lights. We yeah. can't figure out the lights right now. No. So you're seeing us in, uh, this is our it's the romantic. That's this right. This is a romantic people, pets, and purpose. It is. <laughs> We need a little cancel so somebody didn't pay their bill. Anyway, that's fine. Um, so we have a lot of things to get to, and as always, I am just going to start with, we want you to check out mycommunityaccess.com, click on your favorite radio station, and check out Adoptable Pet Picks, or you can find them uh, on my page at theriver1059.com. I've got links to all the shelters and the charities, and there's a lot going on with the city of Hartford, right. um, Kenway's Cause, Friday's Rescue Foundation, and, and so many of them. So we always encourage you to adopt first before buying, and uh, a shelter pet will definitely change your life okay sure so will. that's the uh, the pets part today because today we're gonna focus on people right yeah, okay we what, are. what do you have well you yeah. know me and kids I absolutely love to do anything that helps to promote them to show their value or to help them and in this case it's something um, it's it's very near and dear to one of my friends hearts um, I have a friend Deb Miller that I went to Avon High School with many years ago and she is the tournament chair for something very special for Vi for Kids. Vi for Kids is an organization that helps to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer. And uh, they, they work to raise money for leading edge experimental treatment. And it's all through the Connecticut Children's Medical Center. So one of the things that they've decided to do this year is have a golf tournament. And it's going to be on Monday, August 15th at the Tunxis Plantation in Farmington. Nice. And it's actually in memory of somebody named Robbie Briscoe. Mm -hmm. He was an Avon High School student and unfortunately he lost the battle um, to cancer in September of 2015 and they have decided to rally around and help to raise funds because he was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I did not know him but I've read a little bit of his story and yeah. Deb shared with me too. He was quite the athlete. He was in varsity soccer, and even despite all of his cancer treatments and going through the, the difficult challenges, he continued to play on the team. He was the co-captain and uh, was also very um, helpful with, with the other students. And when he couldn't play anymore, he would get out there in a leadership role yeah. and really try to help his team. That's great. And so they, they wanted to do something special to mm -hmm. help honor his memory. And so they're going to, again, they'll be having this golf tournament on August 15th, and we encourage people to get involved. Um, there's, you know, there's many other ways that Vi for Kids mm -hmm. does this. Um, but Deb's got a, a tremendous story too. Her son Hunter is a cancer survivor. And one of these days soon, I'll be sharing some pretty incredible stuff about Hunter. Oh, good, uh, he is, good, He is good, somebody good. you want to be paying attention to because um, he does have a great story, a very oh, successful one. Well, you know, you're a cancer survivor. I am. So that's, yeah. that's great, too. And, of course, we're, we're always, always liking to hear these stories because it provides hope and inspiration to others. You right. Know? You, how many years do you have behind you? It's 14 now. Oh, well, high know. five action mm -hmm. right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So do you have a, a, a place where people can go? Do we have to say it's, it's Monday, August 15th, you said, right? Right, Monday, August Tungsis. 15th. And people can come and play golf. Or they can yep. just come for dinner if they yeah. prefer. There's going to be a lot of ways to, to get involved with this. Okay. So lunch is from 12 to 2. Then they'll have a reception and auction at four to five, from 4 to 5. And then the dinner is from 5 to 7. So it's certainly worthwhile. Come yeah. and support. Help to raise the funds for um, the, the treatment that the pediatric center, the, the clinical trials program provides for, for many kids. So, um, yeah, and I, we'll put the, the web address down below. It's okay. going to be for the Connecticut Children's Medical Center. Well, I hope that uh, you and I can attend. Yep. I would love for you to. We can even go in. for the dinner because I'm not going to play golf. They I would not want I me. Can't, I can't play golf. They wouldn't want me on the golf okay, course. Let's just go for dinner. That's Maybe right. lunch, too. That's right. You know what? There's a mini golf down around the corner. You and I can we'll do play. mini golf, and then we'll go, and we'll have dinner. Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, before I get to my event, this is something fun that I'm doing with my iHeart Communities Nissan Pathfinder, which, of course, my sponsor is the Hoffman Auto Group. That's why I get to hang out with this lovely lady all the time. But wherever you see me and my Pathfinder, I'm going to be giving you instant shopping sprees with our Love for Local campaign with Big Y World Class Markets, celebrating 80 years in the wow. Connecticut community and That's their incredible. Love for Local. They are really highlighting the people of New England, Connecticut, who have family-run businesses, and that's the product that they're trying to, to really push. And I think that's really a cool, a cool deal. So anytime you see me, you could just walk away with a little mini shopping spray. So if I follow you around everywhere? You can't win. Mm -hmm. Okay. Neither can I, and neither can my mom. She's still mad at me about that. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Special Olympics Connecticut because that's something near and dear to both of our hearts. Yes, it is. So the summer games are coming, and so are the law enforcement torch runs. That means officers of all levels, state police, local police, and all divisions of law enforcement will be running with athletes through all the towns in Connecticut. So this is going to start, it goes 8th 
9th and 10th of June. And then on the 10th of June, they will end at Southern Connecticut State University in, in New Haven mm -hmm. for the official Summer Games of Special Olympics Connecticut, where over 2,500 athletes will be, 2,900 volunteers, 500 plus coaches, unified sports, Special Olympic Connecticut athletes. It's going to be amazing, and we get to go there every year. It is a weekend of fun, of love, and of triumph where everybody comes together and supports teams. Now, they're going to be having stuff at Southern Connecticut State University and at the Hamden Athletic Fields for um, some other parts of the, 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 the events as well. So if you visit SOCT.org, that's Special Olympics Connecticut, their mm -hmm. website, they've got a listing of all the towns the officers will be running through, the law enforcement will be running through, and a listing of events for all the games. So we hope that you will come out and support. And it's so exciting. We were we were gearing up for it on yeah. Sunday because we were there for the Northern Time Trials, and I think they have the Southern Time Trials this weekend that's coming up, getting ready for the Summer Games. And some of the people that volunteered were saying, this is the best day of my life because they got hugs. They, they walked away feeling inspired, watching the athletes with their smiles on their faces, and very emotional. It's no great. It's day. so much fun. Yeah. It's, we, we love it. So we hope you'll see us at either this this Vi for Kids event golfing right. on, 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 what is it? It's Monday, August, August 15th. 15th at Tunxis or Special Olympics Connecticut, the Summer Games this summer, June 10th, 11th, and the 12th at Southern and in Hamden. And uh, who knows? Maybe you'll see me and Susan and maybe we'll take you shopping. Maybe. Maybe. Go out there and do something good today, by the way. Have a great day.